Greetings YouTube, this is Mike with Toy Silly. Gonna do an amazing opening of the Garbage Pail Kids Chrome 1986 Original Series 3. Uh, my channel here is gonna cover a lot of old toys, a lot of new toys, all things toys, collectibles. Bear with me, we're just getting rolling. But if you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe. Let's open this. I will do my best to appease all you serious collectors, but I'm old school. I had a lot of the original series, which I still do have. I am trying to gain base sets for the most part. If there's anything real exciting in here, I will be very tempted to hold on to it, but a lot of it will slowly make its way to other collectors. Uh, through some of the Facebook groups uh, and also through eBay. So let's crack this bad boy open. See if we get any good hits. All right, to be honest, I haven't cracked anything like this open in a while. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Ooh. Chrome Glory. Keep that box in nice shape because it's such a neat little box. Here we go. I will try to handle the cards gently. And here we go. Pack one. We've got Undead Jed. Jelly Kelly. Beaky Becky, Kurt Hurt. Gonna try to be careful here. I know even stacking will drive some of you guys crazy, but I do have some sleeves here. If I see something that looks exciting, I am again, I'm not a expert, but I had these as a kid in the eighties. Love them, obsessed, and really just renewing my obsession here. So this would be a new card. Gollum Gary, which is pretty cool. Beth Death, and that's a refractor. I thought so, because it had a little bit of pizzazz. These are beautiful cards. Grim Jim, all in the same pack. And Dinosaur. I always liked this card as a kid. I just think that that's a great one. A lot of people like Grim Jim, I know. Let me set these aside here. Let's keep them moving. Maybe I won't stack them, but I'm going to run out of room. And here she goes. Here she blows. Sticky Rick. Zippy Zeke, which is awesome. Pretty much the atom bomb of the set. Looks snooty Sam. I think that's just really looking cool on that all chrome background. And Totem Paula. So we scored a refractor, it looks like. Yeah. Let's see what else we got going on here. As you can see, I got quite a few packs behind me. I'll be opening a lot of those. I paid retail for a few, had some scores at both Walmart and Target, and I also overpaid at the local card shop. Baron Aaron, Mac Quack, Toadie Terry, another one of my favorites, and Drew Blood. I also like that one quite a bit as a kid. Whoopsie. No heavy hitters, but they're all cool to me. I'm shooting for base set for myself. And like I said, some of the more exciting stuff will be up for sale if we get any exciting things. This is a new one to me. Dash aboard. That is pretty cool. The bug is just exploding on contact. Pretty dang neat. 
Chromie Joni, which is also a new card. Half Nelson, always a classic. And Bruised Lee. Well, it's, I could, I guess, I could just keep saying they're all classic. So many of these I remember having as a kid and showing to my grandmother and making her all upset. Anyways, the 80s was a good time. Still Jill, Revved Upton. Horsey Henry, and another new one, Robocop. Maybe you guys can give me some creative ideas on how not to stack them without running out of room. Checklist on the back of that. Garbage Fail Kids 2020 Checklist B. We got Bustin' Dustin, Gallopin' Glen, Rod Maud, again, always one of my favorites. Alice Island, also a great card. No major hits yet. Uh, I paid 150 at a local card shop for this set, or, um, hobby box they're online about 175 right now so i was willing to pay the cost zippy zeke that one has kind of a neat color in the background jelly kelly alligator that's a good one and spitting spencer All right, we got plenty more to go. Oh, this is so fun. Okay. Well done, Sheldon. Well done, Sheldon. But U.S. Arnie. Mugged Marcus. And Silent Sandy. Let's keep them um, coming. As I said, I've got a, a number of um, 35th anniversary behind me. I did a lot of driving and a lot of time. I probably spent four hours driving around and definitely had some luck, but I it would take five Walmarts before I'd hit one over the last two days. And I left a few back so if you got one of the ones I left behind, I hope you're happy. All really cool. That's a, just an awesome card. Not an army. Croken. Come on. Okay, let's see what else we have. Nothing. Not hitting anything too exciting in this hobby box here, but they're all cool. Joe Nut. Ooh, that one's cool. Apple Cory, and that's also a refractor. Yay. Really neat. This, you just can't beat Chrome. Uh, smelly Sally. And Distorted Dot. I don't know if I mentioned, maybe I did, but that Beth Death is a refractor too. If I say anything out of place, feel free to politely brutalize me in the comments, but I'm just getting back into collecting and just started this channel, so bound to be some hell to give Blake Flake and Charlotte Webb which is also just 
really cool card. No major hits, but all good stuff. Here we go. Mac Quack. Sorry about the lights. I always enjoyed this card, Target. Margaret. Joe Blow. Wrigley Renee. Wrigley Reen. Wrigley Renee. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I even missed something, but. As far as I know, I haven't had any major hits. Unless I missed something. Baskin Robin. Another great card. Juicy Jessica. That looks like a refractor. Yes. Whoops. Really cool. Frankenstein. And Ophelia Ornament. Getting a lot of different cards. That's good. Work my way towards a nice base set. Again, Hippy Skippy. Ah, there we go. Wow. Bruce Lee. And that is a nice hit there. Look at that beauty. Wow. And that's going to be a 125 at a 150. Yay. Very cool. Just awesome. Okay, let's put that guy in a, a sleeve. You know, they're all so cool. I think they all need to go in some sort of protection, but we'll protect that bad boy. That's a cool card. Careful here. Wow, look at that. That's neat. 125 out of 150. Cool, got something good. Stuck Chuck. And we got Apple Corey. Rock and roll on that. Let's keep them moving. Let's see, I got several packs to go. Let me kind of put them out here so you guys can see when we're going to be done. I'll probably upload several videos of different openings because I got a lot to open. Okay, let's see what we got. DDT. Ooh, wow. Okay, that's cool. That's a good one. Uh, that's good. I don't know what they call this. Uh, Prism or what? 241 out of 250. That's freaking awesome. Wow, nice card, nice card. Yeah, let's sleeve that bad boy up. We're doing good. Uh, again, this was I think 150 bucks. Has everywhere is about 175 on a. Um, hobby box and you know I'm not going to say I'm the richest guy in the world so sadly a lot of these I'll have to let go just to keep the hobby alive for myself and someone else will certainly enjoy these and I'll shed a tear as I have to get rid of them. Okay, so that's Target Margaret, which is cool, and Juicy Jessica. Little Shop of Horrors play there. Okay, let's see. So we are down to these several. Let's rock and roll. Let's see if we can get anything more exciting than what we've already got. Beth Death. 
the B card, Vera Fossil, Darren Darren, which is really just an awesome card, and Chromed Chris, which is pretty cool, a new card, at least to me. Okay, I'm trying to I have to do a little stacking, but I'm being very gentle, not letting them slide around all over each other. All right, let's let her rip. Give me something good here. KO'd Cody. Oh, baby. There we go. Look at that. We are doing pretty good, I'd say. That's going to be 266 out of 299. Man, these are just so cool looking. Definitely a departure from the old school original series, which are still probably the best, but. Chrome is just awesome, and especially being fairly new to re recollecting. Look at that score. We're doing pretty good. I'd say these so far are the beauties of the batch. And then who knows? Maybe I missed I missed the million dollar card. You guys can tell me, but I don't claim to be an expert. But I'm soaking up information as much as I can. Tatum Pole, Spittin' Spencer, Ned Head, and Motor Ned, which is a pretty cool card. These are just awesome. I mean, a base set of these is just on its own impressive. Just great color. Ah, they're just... Love them. Okay, look at this. Let's move on. Gluey Gabe and... Rocky and Roll out of the way. And here she goes. Another one down the hatch. Dun, 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 dun. Creamed Keith. Thick Vic. There's supposed to be some C name cards. I haven't. I may have missed one, but I don't think I have. T2 2D. And Adam Byrne. I'm getting a lot of individual cards. Maybe that's common in the hobby. I don't know how they do it, to be honest. Here we go. This is worth all the money I spent, for sure. King Size Kevin. Well, there's a C card. And I may have missed... I wasn't paying a ton of attention to the C cards. And there's a C card. So, that's pretty special. We'll give that guy a sleeve for sure. So, I'd consider that a winner. And I'll go through, back through the cards, but if you see something that I missed, show some love in the comments and let me know. Babylon Brook. Uniquely, I am colorblind. I see colors, but a li little bit confusing sometimes. So stuff like refractors and I can actually may maybe miss too. All right, let's get a moving on here. Stay tuned, guys. I think I'm going to do a ton of videos because I have a ton of cards to open. Roy Bot, Beaky Becky, which may be a refractor. Yep. I guess I can. Oops. I can see well enough to catch that. Pretty amazing. These are pretty common from my understanding. I don't know if it was one in three packs or something. There's another new card. Cashed in KC. And Eerie Eric. So anyways, if you guys will follow this channel, it's very new. 
but I'm going to be doing a ton of Garbage Pail Kids stuff, Ninja Turtle stuff. Oh, I see something really good poking out behind. Large Marge. Ooh, and look at that. That is quite nice. And that's a 64 out of 199. I don't actually know what they call that one yet, but it is quite amazing and, and pretty funny because the other one I've got was a KO'd Cody also. Win for sure. This has been a blast. But anyways, I'll be doing new toys, old toys, trading cards, not really sports cards, but wacky packs, old top stuff, and hopefully something that you all find halfway exciting. Mushy Marsha, always love that card. It's just awesome, and you just can't beat the cigarette butt sitting in the back. Punchy Perry. And this is where the super, it's called a super fractor is. One in 9,200. So that's what's in this one. Or maybe a printing plate. That would be mighty sweet. Let's give it a whirl and see. Liberty Libby. Ooh. A lot of refractors in the it's beaky becky. Oh wait, that's something maybe a little different. Because it's numbered. I don't know what that is. 134 out of 250. And again, I'm not gonna claim to know all. My understanding. Yeah, the refractors aren't numbered. Oh, it's the border. Okay, that's a good card. I don't claim to know all, but that is a bordered card, which is definitely good. Yay. Very neat. Okay, we are starting to score here, guys. card I'll get them all lined up these are all the hits and I will go back through because maybe I missed the C card maybe I missed something else but I do thank you guys for checking it out let's do a quick review we got bruised Lee 125 out of 150 Liberty Libby which is a 266 out of 299 KO'd Cody, 64 out of 199. Wow, a lot of hits. This was, I'd say, a good, good run. 241 out of 250. These cards are just awesome. There's the C card. Man, they get smudges on them very easily, so I'm going to have to gently wipe these guys down that did get the any little smudges on them, trying not to touch the faces of them, but this chrome just picks up everything. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe because I'm going to pump out several more unboxings. I've got a fair amount of chrome left. I got more hobby boxes. I got, I spent a decent amount of money here. So hopefully we'll get some wins to recoup some of that money back, build myself a nice little collection. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks again. See you soon.